free to wander around across the bridge into the old town and I'll give you some little tips of things to look out for once we're a bit closer. For the people who are going on to Mount Titlis, an important piece of information for you regarding lunch. When we arrive at Titlis, we will be going straight into the cable car and into the Rotaire to the top of the mountain, which means that um, a proper break for lunch will not be until between 2 and 2.30. So it's uh, perhaps something you would like to think about having a snack in Lucerne or maybe buying some sandwiches to take with you on the way to Titlis, just remembering that you can't eat in the bus. Uh, but the first opportunity for a proper sit-down lunch on Titlis itself is around about 2, 2.30, so please just bear that in mind. After, after our stop in Lucerne, we'll be all back on the bus and heading towards the Stanzerhorn, where we are going to drop our two young ladies who are going to be travelling up the Stanzerhorn with the old train from 1873 followed by the steepest and quickest <laughs> um, um, cable car that we have here in the area and thereafter we will be proceeding to Titlis itself. The drive from Stanzerhorn to Titlis is only 15-20 minutes and a very pleasant route indeed. Now just to go back to where we are at this moment, if you look out to the right hand side of the bus, you'll see a hill with a big antenna on top. That's Zurich's home mountain. That's the Utliberg. Utliberg. Very easy to get there by train from Zurich main station. About a 10 minute <coughs> walk to the restaurant. And as you can imagine from up there, you have an extraordinary beautiful view over the lake of Zurich. The Utli bag. <laughs> you might want to practice saying that along the way. Utli bag. <laughs> Utli bag. <laughs>